Hi, my name is Elliot Goldstein, and today I'm going to show you how you can use your custom drone images to design in Aurora. And this is really useful if you're designing in very remote locations uh, where Google or Bing do not have good image quality. And in Aurora, a lot of our successful customers um, working around the world internationally in countries like um, Australia, India, South American countries, and African countries use drone images to get HD resolution uh, sites to then design off of. Now, today I'm going to show you some best practices for using drones in Aurora. First, when you're choosing a drone, pick one with a quality camera. And drones can range from several hundred dollars to several thousand dollars. Uh, so find one that fits your budget with a quality camera. There are services out there where you can pay drone operators to take images for you as well and just hire them on a site-by-site -site basis. So look that up if it's in your area as well. Number two, fly your drone 100 feet directly above the site. Take the photo orthogonally to the site, so 90 degrees top down. You don't want any angles of the rooftop of the site that you're looking at. For that reason, do not use a fisheye lens. Number five, make sure you have good lighting. Take it during uh, a good time of the day. And once you have your image, compress the image file to a medium quality resolution, about four megabytes or less. After that, save your image as a JPEG file, which is the file type that you can upload into Aurora. Now, I'm going to come into Aurora here, and this is my site, um, and this is my image quality. So I can see here, this is on Bing, and it's not great uh, imaging, you know, I can't really see the building or um, the house in this case. Maybe your site is even less clear, uh, maybe it's better, but what I'm gonna show you is how you can use Aurora's uh, custom image field. So if you click up here, you'll see where it says Google, and you'll see where it says Upload. Now here you can upload a custom uh, image, I've uh, taken this drone image, and you can see I've saved it as a JPEG file. It's 1.9 megabytes. So I can go ahead, upload that, and it's gonna show up right here. Uh, you'll notice right off the bat that it's not scaled or in the proper orientation. So I'm gonna show you how you can do this right now. Uh, first thing we'll do is use the ruler tool at the bottom of the screen. Select the ruler tool and then come into your site, placing uh, the edge of the ruler tool to find a reference scale wall. Now this uh, wall here, you can see you want to get it as accurate to the site as you can. And if you double click on the ruler itself, you can actually enter in the uh, foot or meter length here. Uh, or you can manually change it on the CAD view. So, you know, if it was 35 feet, we could do that. Uh, or we could double click and expand it out like so. Now, once we've gotten our reference uh, scale here, I'm going to go back into the image. You'll notice two icons. One is an eye that hides the image. The other is the pencil which makes the edit image editable. Once I've selected it, I can now change my orientation, height, and a first good practice is to change the opacity down. So I'm gonna move the opacity down. And the next part here is a bit of finessing. So what we're gonna do is line up that image with the right orientation here. And then using the width tool, I can scale out to match up the line on my reference wall here. And as I said, this is a bit of finesse, so it's uh, just a little bit of uh, lining up the image, both with the scale um, 
to the point that you are satisfied that you've gotten the best uh, quality here. Now, one uh, nice feature, you can actually hover on the uh, width tool and with the scroll function on your mouse, what I'm doing here is just scrolling up or down. You can actually just dial in that width uh, to more accurately um, scale this in space. Once you're happy with that, turn up the opacity, and we now have this great image to design off of. I can then use my standard uh, smart roof tool to map this out, and uh, we do a similar process if you're using a new roof plan. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please email support at Aurora Solar.